we will get this August council meeting underway. Oseo Nigada and welcome to the Cherokee Nation Tribal Council meeting. At this time, we will call this meeting to order. Uh, council Warner, would you please do the blessing? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for this time of fellowship, Lord. We thank you for the many blessings that you put on our, on our nation, on each one of our families, Lord. We ask that you fill our vessels with the fruit of your Spirit, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Roll call, Shelley. Yes, sir. Bill England. Honey. Keith Austin. Here. Carly Buzzard. Here. Joe Bird. Honey. Sean Crittenden, Mike Dobbins, Cannon Duncan, Wanda Hatfield, Rex Jordan, Here. Dick Lay, Aww. Mike Shambaugh, Here. Mary Bakershaw, Aww. E.O. Smith, Here. Janice Taylor, Here. Victoria Vesquez, David Walkingstick, Aww. Brian Warner. Aww. We have a quorum. Okay, the minutes were mailed to you at this time. I entertain a motion to approve. Make a motion to be approved. Second. Got a motion and second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, ayes have it. State of the Nation by our Principal Chief, Mr. Bill John Baker. We've been hearing the same person come and present at our state of a nation for eight years now. It seemed like it was just yesterday when he gave his first one. And how time flies when you're doing great things, Chief. Say oh. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, it truly is an honor and privilege to kick off this August council meeting, the very last one. It is a bittersweet evening uh, for me to deliver this last State of the Nation. You know, serving the people uh, and serving as principal chief these past eight years have been the highlight of my public career. It has been a blessing of a lifetime and I'm proud of the monumental things uh, we have achieved across a wide range of spectrums. I, I am forever honored to have served uh, with a gentleman, S. Joe Crittenden, uh, Moral Compass, and uh, to this administration. Uh, we focused on homes, health, and hope, and I believe that we are leaving the woodpile higher than we found it. It has been an honor to serve with each and every one of you at this table. Uh, I always enjoyed the council. The council was, I think, maybe Depp and I's favorite place to be uh, in the people's house. But uh, uh, We've not always agreed, but hey, well, my wife and I you mostly agree, but not always. Uh, but I do believe that everybody had the peoples, the Cherokee peoples, uh, at their heart, whether we agreed or we disagreed. So I thank each and every one of you for your service, especially those that are walking out the door with me. Uh, I've served eight years with you and uh, it has, has been a, a, a privilege. <clears throat> Today, I've got a young man here that uh, I want to recognize. Uh, Councilor uh, Austin's, uh, he's from uh, Councilor Austin's district, mm -hmm. and I had the opportunity to meet this afternoon with a gentleman named Hunter Kelly. He started learning Braille at three years old. He has uh, completed, competed annually at the Regional and National Braille Challenge. He's won overall top uh, score in elementary, 
and middle school category for the past three years in the regional competition. Hunter is one of the best in his age group, not just in Oklahoma, but the entire country. He recently returned home from the national competition in Los Angeles that featured students from across the United States and Canada, and we're proud of Hunter, and we want to congratulate him here tonight. Cherokee Nation, a certificate of recognition presented to Hunter Kelly for hit, uh, winning honors in the regional and national Braille Challenge. Cherokee Nation is proud of you and your accomplishments. And uh, Keith's going to put a pin right here. Hunter, can you feel that? Can you feel the seal? Yes, kind of. All right. Hunter came into the office this afternoon and uh, we've got Braille on some of our signs by the doors, and he he brailled the administration. Put <laughs> this on you, right here. In recognition of your accomplishments. Don't stick him. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I know it's like me this far. I'm not going to break it. There's this. Let's walk to the center. And just another shining example that we survive, we adapt, and we excel as a people. We come to the last of the State of the Nation where we recognize those Cherokees that were with us last month and are not with us this month. Then we'll have a moment of silence. Michael Allen of Benita, 
Wayne Austin of Verdigris, father of tribal counselor Keith Austin. Terry Barnes of Dewey, Lula Bird of Tahlequah, John Bryant of Muskogee, Sarah Cochran of Stillwell, Gurry Cornshucker of Jay, Benita Covington of Grove, Frankie Deckard of Tahlequah, Don Hubbard of Cleveland, Oklahoma, father of Julie Hubbard, our communications director. Rowan Johnson of Locust Grove. Cliff Powell of Rowland, our director of finance, who was on travel in Alaska when he <laughs> passed away suddenly. Samson Leach, who gave the prayer at my first inauguration from Locust Grove, Solon Miller of Muskogee, Stephen Phillips of Pryor, Paul Roddenberry of Pryor, Todd Seaton of Fort Smith, Edna Strickler of Tahlequah, Josephine Summerfield of Pryor, Robert Sweeney of Tahlequah, Rex Van of Collinsville, and Brandon Williamson of Skytook. Or there's others that I'm not aware of that we've missed. Yes, uh, right. Mary Snail Butler of Grove. <clears throat> Jerry Tapp from Jay. Verna Cadness of Tahlequah. Lydia Sawney, Cherokee speaker, and Nathaniel Hummingbird. Mary Hummingbird, North Carolina, Cherokee, North Carolina. Sam Ed Bush, Jr., Marble City, and Janita Fields Walton of Salisaw. We can have a moment of silence. Wado, and that concludes the final State of the Nation. Deputy, we, we can allow you to say a few words before the presentations or after. I'll leave that up to you. I believe I'll do it after, Speaker. That'll be fine. If that's okay with you. Is that be just fine. You're the I'm boss. In, I'm in your house, the council's house, so I'm a guest here. Okay. But I feel very welcome. Don't ever forget that. And you are very welcome. Councilman Lay, would you come forward, sir, and help me with this first presentation? Our first veteran this afternoon or this evening is a lady, also in the Navy, and she outranks me, and she told me that a while ago, so. Uh, and I'm okay with that, you know, I'm okay with that. It's all about service. Carol L. Fry, would you come forward, please? Ms. Carol Fry entered the Navy in 1970. She was stationed in Bainbridge, Maryland. Her first duty station was a Naval Communications Station at Cheltenham, Maryland. Is that correct? Is that pronunciation okay? Yes. As a computer operator involved in highly classified documents of returning POW and MIA's Vietnam veterans. Ms. Fry spent two and a half years in Maryland before being transferred to a Naval facility Midway Island where she spent 15 months and transferred to Broody, Wales for two, two and a half years. She returned stateside to Annapolis, Maryland, 1979 to 1980. Ms. Fry was transferred to Hawaii for her last duty station before honorably retiring from the Navy as a radioman petty officer first class in 1990. Her decorations and medals, the National Defense Service Medal, Naval Unit Commendation, Overseas Service Ribbon, 
fourth good conduct award for period ending 30 August 1989. And Mrs. Fry, on behalf of a grateful nation, ma'am, I want to thank you for your service to this country. given a Navy commendation with my two roommates because we mm -hmm. saved our next door neighbor and her apartment that was on fire. Oh, good. Councilman Jordan and Councilman Bird, would you come and help? Well, there we go. Oh, yeah. and, and if you want Stick to come and help, well, he can do that too. Our second veteran this evening is Lori A. McCoy. Lori, come forward, please. Ms. McCoy entered the Army in 1992 and was sent to Fort Jackson, Columbia, South Carolina. She finished training then. Ms. McCoy was transferred to advanced training where she learned the basics on the military two and a half ton Humvees and Q, Q, Cuva. Is that how you say that other word? Cuvee? It's French. It's, it's a French word like tank. It's a big Humvee, right? <laughs> oh, okay, but they called it that because, it, yeah, but but they referred to it because it was big and heavy. So anyhow, it was in this stuff that they typed up for us, plus several different kinds of other military vehicles and trailers. Miss McCoy became a light wheel vehicle mechanic, and her primary responsibility was to surprise and perform, or supervise and perform maintenance and recovery operations on the military vehicles. Ms. McCoy was transferred to Fort Hood, Texas, where she was assigned to Company E 27th Maintenance Support Battalion and 1st Cavalry Division. She was honorably discharged as a private first class in 1994. Her medals, ribbons, and badges the Army lapel button, National Defense Service Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Marksman Qualification Badge with Rifle Bar. Ms. McCoy, on behalf of a grateful nation, thank you, ma'am, for your service to this country. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
Our next veteran this evening is George D. Carter, Jr. Better known as Dan to me. Eo Smith, Brian. Mr. Carter entered the Air Force in 1971. He finished his basics in Texas and transferred to Nebraska to become a fuel specialist technician. Mr. Carter rose in rank to an E-4 sergeant. In 1973, he was deployed to Southeast Asia, where he was assigned to the F-4 Fighter Squadron, 432nd Combat Support Group in Udorn, Thailand, and was with the 635th B-52 Bomber Squadron in U. U.T. Tepeo, Thailand. He returned to the States in 1974. He was assigned to the 381st Supply Group when he was honorably discharged from McConnell Air Base, Air Force Base, Wichita, Kansas. His decorations, his ribbons, medals, and badges, the Air Force Good Conduct Medal, the Vietnam Service Medal, Republic of Vietnam Campaign Medal, National Defense Service Medal, and the M16 Sharpshooter Badge. Mr. Carter, on behalf of a grateful nation, thank you, sir, for your service to this country. this award but for the past eight years that this council and you two guys have done anybody can just look around and see where we were at and where we are now that's, thanks for that thanks for that thank you Yes, 
You know, Deputy, I remember eight years ago, the thought of he running for Deputy Chief really wasn't even in the air. And uh, there at the last minute, and with the blessings that we have, Deputy decided to file for Deputy Chief. And he's one of the very few people that's been council, chief, deputy, all within what? What's, what period of time there, Deputy? Less than an hour, Speaker. Less than an hour. <laughs> Holds all three positions there. <laughs> you know, he's uh, when we were out campaigning, former postmaster, former Navy guy. You know, how can you go against a guy like that? Postmaster, Navy guy, and, and owns a mule. Now, <laughs> if folks, if you're going to vote against somebody like that, you're not country. <laughs> so, Deputy, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Speaker. You know, we used to play a game with little kids and stuff, and we still do sometimes, where you turn, you know, spin them around and around and around and around for a while and then turn them loose and watch them. That's kind of the way I felt after I got sworn in all those times. And, I, and finally I kind of got focused and I, I, I thought, well, I'm going to do my best to keep this thing between the white lines on each side of the road. And... Uh, Folks, I want to tell you, serving the Cherokee people, as Chief says, it's an honor and a privilege. I went back last night just for fun. Doesn't take much to excite an old fellow like me, but I went back and watched that inauguration in 2011. What a time that was. And you know, I watched the different points of things that we, and Chief, when you done yours a few, about nine weeks later or so, it was kind of a, we were on the same page as far as what we thought the people needed to improve the lives of our people. And as he said earlier, the, the wood pile I think is a little taller than or, or more than it was. I don't think that that was because of me necessarily. It was a bunch of people that helped that happen. And it was because we were blessed with God's blessings. Uh, it was a good time in our economy. Our revenue was strong. It was just a good time for all of us to make things better for our people. It's been a highlight for me. I spent, you know, 30 years federal service. I've, I've had most of my life dedicated to serving people in some form or fashion. This has been the pinnacle, the highlight, the icing on the cake, if you want to look at it that way. And I actually had to, now some of us are terming out, and, uh, and that's got its own uh, uh, feelings and all. But I actually resigned off the council one time. Now that was tough for me to do, Speaker, because this was, the council's the people's house. And I thoroughly enjoyed working in, on the council, going out and serving our people and stuff. But the highlight of the deputy's office for me has been honoring our veterans. And uh, thank God for the veterans. You know, uh, we've, we've honored hundreds and hundreds of veterans carrying on a tradition that started back during another administration. I hope it continues on for, you know, seven generations, as Chief likes to say, or longer than that. It's been a blessing. I wish you all well. I feel comfortable at the council house your offices. Gail says I have an open invitation to her kitchen down there anytime I want it. And she's a great cook and a, and, and a wonderful person. I thank all of you for your work, for your people. 
And we should not always agree on everything. We all have different ideas. And that's where, what makes us strong is the differences we have. So keep up the good work. I'll be seeing you around. God bless all of you. Thank you very much. Before we go into our business items, I invited one more guest to come and, and give and say a few words, and that's our current Miss Cherokee, Whitney Roach. Uh, it seemed like just yesterday that we were swearing you in, and uh, boy, how time flies, and we appreciate all that you have done in representing the Cherokee people. Whitney's been to the as far east as you can go and as far as northwest as you can go. So she's had a chance to travel and represent us in a good way. Good parents, Lisa, George. I see Lisa, I don't see George. Traveling, okay. He's All right, roughing. Whitney, you're up. If you guys know my father, you know he's like the main official here in Tahlequah and Cherokee County jurisdiction everywhere, but... That's what he does, but Siona God, uh, what do you least all with don't? Um, I, I lost for words. I'd like to begin to thank the council for everything you guys have done. You've always supported me, and you've always been at the events I've been at. It's nice to see familiar faces everywhere I go. I'd also like to thank Chief and Deputy. You guys have always been like father figures to me, and always singing to me every time I show up somewhere, and always making fun of my dad sometimes. It's always the best. But um, it's really been a family here um, serving this year. I didn't serve eight years. I didn't serve four years. I served a year. And I don't know how you guys handle it, honestly. It's a lot of work. And you know, I, no one ever realizes how much they do behind the scenes for the Cherokee Nation, for our people. And it's the same for this title. Even though it's a year, no one sees behind the scenes how much work goes into this. And a lot of it is thanks to the two Lisas in the back. My mom's name is Lisa, and then my main chaperone, her name is Lisa too. Lisa one and Lisa two. So give them a round of applause, because they've always helped me. <laughs> they are very much the glue that has kept me together this entire year. But um, yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing year full of growth, and my maturity, and my patience, and it's really helped me. Um, Time management is a big thing and learning, living in college and doing college and stuff, that's a big um, lesson I need to learn and I have this year. And all the lessons I've learned this year have helped me grow me into the woman that I am today. And all of you guys have had a hand in that too. So a big what do to you guys again. But um, yeah, it's, it's really bittersweet. And I was talking to with my Lisa's earlier, and I said uh, it's more bitter than sweet uh, right now. It's been it's been a blast to get to go around the United States and to get to talk to Cherokee people around the U.S. And it's a it's a year I'll never forget, and it's a year I'm always going to be thankful for for the rest of my life. Um, and I would like to thank the council and whoever. Uh, I'm not quite for sure who came up with the idea of doing the speaker's role, but to whoever that was um, that made that idea happen, um, thank you to them that my grandfather, who passed away uh, last year in March, so a little about a year and a half, maybe more ago, um, he was a fluent speaker, and he had a brother that moved to Washington, and that was my very last at-large um, meeting that I got to go to. And he got to show up and he got to sign the role and I got to hold that paper while he signed it. So that has probably been one of the most memorable years. And without that, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to see my uncle again and have a dear memory like that. 
So I don't want to cry up here because all you guys got really quiet and it got really awkward. So I'd like to thank you guys for everything you've given me the opportunity to do. And I hope to help the Cherokee Nation in the rest of my life. And I love my people and I love you guys. So with the, thank you. She was lamenting that her reign was coming to an end. And then she got this little smirk and says, but I'll be here two weeks longer than you. <laughs> I did say that. I did. <laughs> Good job, Whitney. Okay, unfinished business. We have none. Committee reports. Uh, yes, we have Mr. Sean Slayton. Sean, no tears, okay? <laughs> Good evening, Council. I would like to uh, first express the businesses and my appreciation for those that have served that are turned out and uh, without the cooperation that's we're given here we would not be where we are as a business chief and deputy chief no words to express the business's appreciation uh, adequately and mine personally uh, for the support you've given us over the years uh, it's been an honor to serve with each and every one of you and uh, wish you the best as you travel forward. Uh, financially, very strong year for the companies. Uh, we're ahead of budget and we're ahead of last year and I commend our people for that. We had a great June and a great July. Uh, additionally, we contributed another 400,000 in tax collections to the nation. A few things that are going on, we still continue to uh, try to get storm shelters built at all of our locations to protect our people. Uh, we've got several of them done. Uh, Ramona we're still working on. That's a little more challenging logistically. Uh, but we do have South Coffeyville and a couple of others. I think maybe Salisaw and, and uh, one or two more. That, that initiative is progressing and on behalf of our people, they thank you for allowing that to be done. Tahlequah, our new casino, is doing exceptionally well. And uh, we look forward to seeing you there on Wednesday for the inauguration. Uh, happy to have opened the Capitol Museum. Uh, very proud of the team and the effort that went into that and c certainly the results. If you haven't had a chance, it's a beautiful facility and encourage you to stop by and take a look. The Saline Courthouse restoration is uh, continuing. We did get the caretakers home finished and in the next couple of weeks uh, they'll be moving in, which is a good thing. And uh, I'm not sure on the timeline to, to finish the courthouse. Fort Gibson, we plan to reopen mid-September. Uh, everyone's working hard on that, vendors, and and uh, be anxious to uh, get that reopened, and and uh, we'll get that info to you whenever we have nailed that down for sure. Our folks are happy to be helping with the inauguration, and they're happy to be uh, helping with the upcoming holidays. So that concludes my report, and I'll be happy to answer any questions. <coughs> Any questions for our CEO? Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Old business, none pending. New business, out of rules. Uh, Councillor uh, Jordan, you want to take that? Do I need to amend this now? Yes, this is a resolution confirming the reappointment of Tommy Sue Bradshaw Wright as a board member of Cherokee Nation Businesses, LLC, and I put that in the form of a motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? Not. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Same. One abstention. Okay. 
Next resolution, uh, Councilor Walkenstick, would you take that? Number two. This is a uh, resolution uh, authorizing donation of surplus equipment to the Cherokee County Rural Water District Number Eight. To put that form of a motion. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, ayes have it. <coughs> Councilor Lay, take number three. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, resolution authorizing Cherokee Nation Warehouse to donate surplus equipment to Washington County Cherokees Association in Washington County. Put that in form of a motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Uh, Councillor uh, Warner, would you take that for me, number four? Yes, sir. This is a resolution authorizing the Cherokee Nation Warehouse to donate surplus equipment to Calvary Indian Baptist Church in Cherokee County. I put that in form of a motion. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, the ayes have it. Councillor Vasquez, number five. Yes, a resolution authorizing Cherokee Nation Warehouse to donate surplus office equipment to Native American Fellowship, Inc. in Nowata County. Move for its approval. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Number six, Councillor Taylor, you want to take that? Mm -hmm. This is an act amending Legislative Act 22-18, authorizing the comprehensive operating budget for fiscal year 2019, Mod 10, and declaring an emergency. I put that in the form of a motion. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. I need uh, Councillor Vasquez, you want to amend the agenda? Yes, sir. I'd like to ask that we amend the agenda to consider item number seven out of Community Service Committee. And sure. thank you. Got a motion and a second to amend the agenda. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, go ahead and read the resolution. Yes. This is a resolution authorizing a grant of easement for right of way on North South Road 4410 Benita Clinic Track on USA in trust land for Cherokee Nation to the Board of Craig County Commissioners. Move for its approval. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. That is uh, all we have as far as business. See any announcements to my right? Any announcements to my left? Councillor Lay, you want to say something? That these, we have some council members that this will be their last council meeting as well. They're not going away. They'll still be part of the Cherokee Nation and always welcome with, with their open arms. So uh, if you want to say something, go right ahead. I, I did, Speaker, and thank you. And it's been an honor to serve the Cherokee and my district. And I think, think we've done it pretty well. I've always enjoyed and been honored to serve with every one of you on this board. And uh, we've debated issues, and I appreciate the debate. Sometimes you brought up things I didn't think about. I'd like to thank our employees. They made me a better council person. Thank you. Councillor Hatfield? <clears throat> yes, sir, thank you. Um, have you ever had a dream job? Have you ever had something you did that was the most fun thing you've done in your life? And this is one of those things. Um, it's a small, you always think of your life as a small, everything that you do, a small piece of the pie. And this is it. Um, and it, I've enjoyed every second of it. It, it, it's been awesome. I love serving the Cherokee people. Um, I've traveled. I was going to calculate the miles that we've traveled uh, throughout the U.S. And um, I have, um, I started even, I, I'm, I'm a lot about symbolism. I had uh, eight uh, notebook pages, uh, no, eight legal pads full of phone calls. Because when, I, when you call me, I took notes about everything about you. I have eight. And I kept a calendar 
every day of my life for the last four years. And so um, I look back and I, I, I started to get a little emotional, but I thought, you know, um, this is one part of my life. It was wonderful. I think about in four years how many people you meet, how many friends you can make, and, and, and possibly some enemies too. But, you know, that's when you're in an elected position, um, you, can, you can probably make a few enemies. I hope I haven't made too many. Um, thank you for letting me serve. Thank you to uh, Chief Baker and Joe Grittenden. Joe and I worked together years ago. He was my boss. And I told him when I was running for election, uh, election four years ago, I said, hopefully you'll get to be my boss again. I mean, I didn't know. I mean, I, I just assumed the deputy and the chief were the bosses. But anyway, um, thank you. And I also want to thank um, uh, all the employees, uh, and uh, especially my office, my personal office, Gail, um, Shelly, Jennifer, Jody, and uh, um, CNB. I want to thank CNB. Without CNB, we're nothing. Uh, we uh, depend on them, and, and uh, we they depend on us. So anyway, um, thank you for everything. It, it, it's been a, a, a real a real joy, and thank you, Speaker Bird. And I'll miss. Um, he, he teases me a lot about being a, a superstar at Zion in Ader County. But anyway, I um, and I want to thank all the council members. I've learned so much. I've learned a lot. I've learned, and I learn every day. You're never too old to learn. But thank you, for everybody. Thank you for the great journey, and uh, I'll be around. So uh, I've got some initiatives in the, in the, uh, in the making. Uh, I want to thank CCO as well. They were, they were my traveling family. And um, all the Miss Cherokees, I had all their pictures out. I was looking through them the other day. And some beautiful girls, um, but mostly good hearts. But anyway, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And, and my family thanks you. Well done. Councilor Walken, say. Uh, well, it's, um, you know, coming in at 29 years old on the Tribal Council was uh, definitely a learning experience. But, um, but you know, God appoints us all to these positions, and we all get into these positions because we all want to make it better than what we found it. And uh, I just, I thank God for each and every one of the council members that um, that I had opportunity to cross paths with because uh, I see strengths in every one of you and I know we've had uh, some of us have had differences and um, you know but I ask that uh, don't take anything personal uh, just because we have differences because at the end of the day I, I still love you and I hope you guys conduct yourselves uh, that are on the council right now and that same grace and mercy with your your colleagues your other council members because at the end of the day we're here for one common goal and that's for our people and the love of those people and like I said we all got 17 different personalities and God made us that way and he made us in his image and, and he loves us and but he wants us to love everyone else too and so you guys move forward um, I encourage you guys to do that the employees of Cherokee Nation you guys are awesome you guys are amazing people uh, and you guys that have been employees for 30 plus years I, I envy you like I, I, I want to be in your shoes so bad you know and because as a young kid I grew up in this Cherokee Nation you know my father was the chief of the Cherokee Nation Marshal Service, and he would follow women main killer around, and that was my upbringing. I never knew that God had plans for me to be where I'm at today, but but God did, and uh, and you know going to Sequoia High School, and and but this whole experience has been been unreal, and I, I love to see the passion of our Cherokee people, especially our Miss Cherokee. She was up there. I felt her passion when she was talking about her love for her people. And that employee that was here last month talking about her love and her experience in Cherokee Nation. I love to see those things. And I know 
each and every one of us has experienced those things of being Cherokee and what what it is to to be Cherokee. And uh, so, um, man, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, thank you for allowing me to be a council member and to serve this council and to serve the Cherokee people and to serve our employees. We're done. Councilor Anglin. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I won't be near as long as uh, Stick there. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I want to acknowledge all of our employees. They're, they're great people. I've worked with a lot of them back in, during the past. I've been around the tribe since 1992. Uh, I have served on the Tribal Council for 15 years. So I know we have term limits, but those started later on. This is my second go around of being out of office. I know I stood right here six years ago and said, I'll be back, and, and I did, I came back. But I'm almost 70 years old now, so I can't really make that promise. So uh, only if my health holds up, I may come back. But uh, it's a, a maybe. But I, I've really enjoyed the last four years that I've served because it just seems like We've got a lot of stuff accomplished, and uh, we did it with a lot of agreement and a lot of disagreement. But at the end of the day, like somebody said earlier, you know, you, you come together and you work as a group. So, and, that, and that's the thing I like about it. Nobody goes home and uh, mad and sad for months till you come back down here. So you just get over it and move on, and, and, and life goes on. But I appreciate everybody uh, working with everybody on the council. Uh, it, it is a sad day to leave, but I've had so many messages today and, and uh, uh, today asking me to please remember to four years down the road, you know. So it's, it's in the back of my mind, but we'll see what, what holds. But I, I'm a home builder, been a home builder for 30 some years, so I'm just gonna go home and build houses. So just like I've been doing. So uh, just stepping the game up and gonna build more of them, so. Uh, so it, it's I'm I'm good. So uh, and I'm glad I got to serve the people. Glad I got to serve the district that I live in, because they are the people that sent me down here. Nobody else sent me down here but the people that live in my district, and I really appreciate that. So anyway, thank you guys, and thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Well, we have one uh, guy that is, is leaving the council, but he's just moving across the hallway here. Councilor Warner, you want to say something? Well, here I am, standing between us and adjournment. <laughs> Everybody's ready. I want to say it's, uh, it's been an honor and it is a privilege to serve on here. I can say that with, for each one of you that sit on this council, um, you've helped tailor me in some way. That there's something that I'm going to take from each one of you and the ones that were here the first two years of my service. Uh, my predecessor, Ms. Janelle Ladmore Fulbright, um, all the things that, uh, that, we've, that I've watched people do. Um, you know, I've heard we, we all have opinions. We all have choices, but we all have that Cherokee heart. And I see that on display each and every day. I look across there to my good buddy, <clears throat> Sean Crittenden. Buddy, we had some good travels, didn't we? When we started out, we had, we had some good travels. And, uh, and I look forward to continuing this service in uh, whatever capacity that, it, that is coming up. And, um, you know, I always will say that uh, I have an open heart for the people. And I have an open door, and you can call me anytime. I, and I've got two phones, and my wife's got one too, so that gives me three. And if you start counting all the kids and stuff, so there's multiple ways to get in touch with me. Okay. So, but anyway, uh, you know, I just wish each and every one of you the best, and uh, look forward to continue to working with each and every one of you because. Last I checked, we're all sitting on here, we're all Cherokee, and we all serve one another. And I mm -hmm. think that's the thing to remember. So thanks be to God. God bless. Mm -hmm.
Deputy, I think what Councillor Warner was alluding to is when you led us in San Diego with Councillor Crittenden and Warner, we were in San Diego by the beach, remember that? Yep. I think that's what we were talking about here. It probably was. Yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, with well, that, we're could, not going to go any further? No. no are you if I could elaborate. No. <laughs> but uh, but uh, since I pushed that button, sorry to take up time, but uh, you guys, it's, it's leaving. I've really looked up to you guys, and uh, thank you for... Thank you for doing what you do and teaching a young and like me, and I'm going to miss you guys. Okay, with that, um, you know we're we're a family. Before we go into my family, right there, my sister supports me. My 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 daughter, they they cook for me. My niece Jalisa, thanks for coming and support me. That's what it takes for for us elected officials to survive. It's family. So with that, I'd uh, have an entertaining motion to adjourn. So move. so move. We are uh, agiosi. Adjourn.